Okay, everyone, I restarted the class. So now you should be able to get in. There's Daniel. Let's see if you can get in. Today, there's a problem with browser Google. What's the problem? Uh, when you try to get into the class, right? Uh, suddenly it appears la as a pop. A pop? A pop, yes. You should uh, uh, enable the the pop. I don't know what you say in English. Enable the pop-ups. Enable the pop-ups, yes. But that didn't happen to me, though. I didn't get any pop-ups. I just... I started the class, and then yeah, suddenly yeah. the teacher, join button teacher, stopped working. Teacher didn't have problem, but a ah. uh, student yes, because I was in the previous class with and uh, with Andrea, right. and all of all of us had the same problem. Oh really? So yes. Students, please. Daniel, Daniel th th thanks. Now I got it. The enable pop-ups. Is that right? Pop Yes. Maybe Firefox right. have versioned up, yeah? No? So please enable pop-ups to be able to enter class yes. today. Okay, I'll put that there as a warning. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on. A lot of teachers are complaining that the uh, join button doesn't work for their students. Yes. So when you click join, there's now a pop-up menu. That's what that's what happens when you click join. Daniel? Yes. When you uh, when you try to join, uh, you must you must uh, enable pop-ups in in this. All right. And where do you enable pop-ups in settings? Uh, it a uh, pop-up blocking setting. So if you go I, into I think with a new function in the browser, uh, Firefox maybe. Firefox yeah. made a version up maybe. Yeah, but in, in, in Chrome, I wonder where it Chrome, is. Ah, Chrome. In, the li in the line of, of mm -hmm. uh, above, uh, next to the star. Next to the star, yeah. Uh, uh, it usually appear uh, uh, like a square cross. I see. Mm. I push on the on the square, and you are enabled. Uh, now, okay. bubbling, bubbling. You do enable uh, the pop the okay. the window. Okay. Now, bubbling give us a little uh, pop up uh, window. Uh, with rating uh, to rate teacher, I right. think it's new. Yeah. I think this function uh, uh, is a main cause of uh, <laughs> <laughs> pop up good. blocking. <laughs> very good, very good. It's a good thing that they created the rating. If it stops students from coming into class, <laughs> it's a good idea. Very good, very good. I feel it's a uh, Google issue. No, yeah. not Weblin. Yeah, well, usually, yeah. Anyway, because in Chrome, I don't see any problem. The only thing I saw was that the, the join button wasn't working for me. So, listen, yesterday, there were three of you, and I said you all had to come to class today. Who was the third? It was Marina. Marina, and she said she would be coming. So, Marina, we have to go and get her. <laughs> Marina, you said you'd be here. Where are you, Marina? Um, let me just send her a message. We'll get started. Well, actually, we're, we we almost finished the story yesterday. We almost finished. So, um, let me just see if I can quickly see her. If I can quickly see her email, her 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 um, profile in class students. One second. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Does the uh, bubbling chat working today? Uh, for you? No, for only only work uh, Google Google chat. Okay. Chat. 
Marina from Russia, right? Let me just see if I see her. No, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It was Maria. Hi, Marina. We're doing the last class right now. Join us. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can get her and the others to come back because they said they would be here, and I believe them. Because <laughs> that way we can have a nice Don't full discussion. Don't be a student, please. I, I know, I know, it's true. <laughs> it's always my fault. I trust everyone. That's my problem. I trust everyone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, let me put the let me put this back on screen for you. We almost finished, so I suggest we just read. It's we've about a page left. I thought we had more, but we actually just have like a little bit over a page left. So why don't we finish reading first, and then we should have plenty of time to have a full discussion. What do you think? Okay. Sound okay? Okay. Is there anything we should clarify before we begin? Is there anything that you're having trouble with? Because we can. I try to read again uh, at home, but it it's really difficult. <laughs> so very very slowly I I could read, but not until the end. Okay. If there's anything in particular you want to talk about, you can talk about it now, or we can continue reading and at the end, because it'll probably take 15 minutes or so to finish, I would imagine. Okay. So it's up to you. Let me say a quick hello to Dom, who's joining us right now. Hello, hello. Dom. Hi, teacher. I've seen you before, Dom. Mm, maybe once. Once. I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't remember. Italy. Yes, I'm from Italy. Yes. Yeah, I remember you. Yes. OK. <laughs> so, Dom, what we're doing is reading the very last part of a short story that we've been reading over the last week, okay. uh, Death in Miami Beach. So. If you haven't read parts one and two, uh, the best thing we can do is just give you a quick summary so you can catch up. And then we're going to read to the end for about 15 minutes or so. We're almost finished. And then we're going to discuss what we've read, discuss the language, discuss the theme, discuss the character, and try to understand through English what this story means, using English. So you are learning English, but we're going to be discussing it's it's a it's as much a cultural class as it is a language class. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, so uh, I have to add um, some brief uh, uh, some lecture by the part one or in the part two. Well, why don't we try to give you a little summary so ah. that you okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Yuki and Daniel, maybe you could give him. Kind of a, a brief summary to oh, get to get him up to speed. Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to talk about the plot because mm -hmm. this, this story doesn't exactly have a plot. So, what he's never read anything. What should he know to understand part three? What do you think he ought to know? Uh, uh, first thing he would know he have to know is that the main character. Uh, protagonist of the story is a writer. Uh, mm -hmm. He's living in Detroit, but now he's traveling around Miami Beach. Uh, just uh, after tiring his daily life in Detroit, in Manhattan. Manhattan. Well, I think he's from Manhattan, but for some from reason Man the daughter was in Detroit. I didn't really understand what that was mm -hmm. about. But yeah, he's an East Coast writer, and he's in me to think and observe and write. He's there to write, basically. What well, part is occupied? Uh, in, Go in ahead. His, uh, in, in, what uh, what is occupy, occupying in his mind is a problem of death and madness. That's true. So, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, and the problem of isolation, uh, such a such a philosophic thing, thought is always occupied his his mind ahead. Uh, he's always thinking uh, thinking about uh, 
that uh, things. And in Miami Beach and what the island, west, uh, I can't remember the name of island. Uh, what, in, in uh, Key West? Uh, Key West, yes, in Key West and in Miami Beach, he, he she, the various scenes uh, regarding uh, in, involving in death. Uh, first, firstly, he have uh, he have visited visited the turtle slaughterhouse, which is a uh, uh, main attra attraction stop spot in uh, he, uh, in Ireland. Right. And after that, he step on the beetle. <laughs> bug on bug so, on ba so Dom, in you, his you, new uh, tennis shoes. Yuki's <laughs> describing two of the scenes that we read in part one. The scene mm -hmm. at a slaughterhouse where he begins yes. to think about existential things, and okay. then a scene where he accidentally steps on a cockroach <laughs> <laughs> on his way. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. the image keeps coming back throughout the story. Uh, so it seems to have more importance, you know, he doesn't just forget about it, he keeps thinking about this cockroach and it seems to take on a kind of a metaphorical importance as the story continues. So these are two of the images uh, that we, we, or two of the scenes we encountered. Um, mm. Maybe I could just ask Daniel, would you add any other thing, any other information that you think Don ought to know before we finish? Mm, yeah, it is a... Uh Summing up, it's a crazy, it's a crazy trip for me it's through through uh, through Miami uh, toward mm, toward the isolate. More toward toward the sorry isolation. Isol isolation, yes. So it's a crazy trip because he seems to be thinking a lot about isolation. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Well, I think that's a pretty good summary of the themes. So, Dom, mm. okay. let's read. Let's pick up at the end of the story. Okay, we're all going to get a chance to read, and then you can ask questions at any point. But we'll try to piece together all of these scenes and decide what they mean. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Yuki, right. you start us off, and then we'll go to Daniel, and then Don. We'll each take okay. a paragraph, okay? And we're right here, Yuki, where it says a man in the coffee shop. That's where, because the, that the last thing we read was about he's having the dream, the dream of the woman who kills chickens, <laughs> right? Okay. So we're picking up in the next part. Just a minute. Uh, a man in the coffee shop later said to the caster. Cashier, I've been sick. I've been sick. That's why you ain't seem, seem, seem me. Doctor said, Corona, coronary thrombosis. Uh, coronary thrombosis. You ever, you ever heard of that? Now. Nah. No. No. Nah means, nah means no. No. Nah. No. Lots of people got the coronaries, but uh, some thrombosis, but that thrombosis, that new thing, new thing, that dogs keep keep finding new things so they can charge charge us. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it left me feeling pretty weak. I went on the night to see a road company. Version a road company version of my fair lady at the Miami Beach audit or auditorium. You could say all auditorium, Auditor, auditorium, which which more frequently provides hospitality for wrestling or boxing machines, a matches sorry, a magoti board in. Imitation of Rex Harrison, a thick freezer, th thick freezer without any bounce. The audience is quietly taking in the famous sight. 
they write on their postcards home. Tonight we saw a Broadway show, but the girl was fat. <laughs> have you seen My Fair Lady? <laughs> yes, I have seen. Oh, it's a famous film. Audrey Hepburn is the main. Yeah, Rex role. Harrison is the is the isn't it? No, not Rex Harrison. Who's the? Uh, yeah, it is Rex Harrison, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it says it right there. I'm going crazy. Look, <laughs> Rex Harrison and Audrey Hepburn. So it's the it's the story of the girl who it's the story of Pygmalion, the statue. The the adaptation. Ah, Marina's here. There we go. Um, it's a road company version, not the Broadway version. That's kind of important. What do you think life is like out there? What do things look like? What is the environment of Miami Beach? Is it like other places? What makes it different? Uh, I think the environment is, is quite tropical. Not tropical, no. Yeah. It's, no, tourist, no it's okay. Tourist tropical, sport. touristic. Yes. It, and, uh, go ahead. Atmosphere is quite uh, light. Yeah, I would even say um, ostentatious. Remember that word from the other day? Ostentatious. Ostentatious, oh, yeah. Okay. So, it's, it's very important that it's a road company version because that means it's like the cheap, gaudy, flashy version. It's not like the nice Broadway version, right? So, everything about Miami Beach is kind of cheap, flashy ostentatious and it all seems to be a big distraction from the big thing which is death isolation madness <laughs> it's it's everyone seems to be uh, this is my theory of course i could be wrong everyone seems to be sort of just filling up their time with meaningless stuff right so i think it's kind of important that he says it's a road version of my fair lady and the girl was fat. <laughs> <laughs> so Audrey Hepburn was not exactly fat. Um, let me just see. Uh, well, let's go around the room, everyone. So Daniel, why don't you take the next? We'll see if we can go around the room twice. Daniel, why don't you take the next one? Crazy Louie on the beat. A Crazy Louie. Lo Crazy Louie on the beat. A frantic grandfather with Latin records. Maracas, castanets, silk Cuban shirts, feathers, straw skirt, rubber Halloween max, max, masks, uh, masks. No, 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 not max, but masks. Max. You got to put the s first. Say mm. mass. Mass. Mas. Good mask. Mask. Good mask. Masks. That's it. <laughs> Ruben Halloween masks. <laughs> a Hugh Erin loosely hooked to his ear by a bent hairpin. Thick glasses sliding down his nose. Leathery withered, withered legs. Withered. withered. Withered legs. Dancing and dancing. All sinews and grins and shakes to some inner song while the portable Phonograph goes ratty and scrape, a screech, rather, and a scrape. Amazingly, the crowd, which regularly gathers on the sun, nearby seems to enjoy Near, his music. Nearby, 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 on the sun, nearby seems to enjoy his music. Some of them say, too, dreaming of the day when they had last to squander on their legs. Dr. Mayer's wife smiles as he describes this scene. This wait, wait, scene. who's Dr. Mayer again? Do you remember? Yes, uh, the old doctor when the writer was a child. Exactly. He finds them on Miami Beach. He says yes. it's one of those crazy coincidences. coincidences. And, and the guy had these big dreams of doing research, but what happened? His wife is blind. His wife, yeah, his wife went blind in the went past. Blind, and yes. now, instead of doing research, he spends all of his time going to the beach and describing things for her because she can't see. Stir her. Uh, that's it. 
Okay, keep going. So, what happened? Uh, the third mayor's wife smiles as he describes the scene. Are you smiling, mayor? She asks. He says yes, but is lying. Crazy Lou bangs his castanet under her nose and screams, Ole! <laughs> and she jumps at at least Dr. Meyer smiles. <laughs> so, wh what do you think uh, Crazy Louie's job is? <laughs> what does he do to make money? Uh, Are you a normal guy? No. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Is he an English teacher? An orchestra, an orchestra man, a crazy man, a, a, a clown. He's a clown, yeah. A clown. But we get the impression that he's kind of like a homeless clown because he's really sinewy. You know, sinews are the connections between your bones, you're like your ligaments, you know, the connections that hold you together. So when you don't have meat and fat on your body, you have sinews. In other words... Mm -hmm. He's really, really thin. Uh -huh. He has he has a huge earring in his ear. In 19, uh -huh. 1950s and 1960s, men did not have earrings. So mm -hmm. he's already like, you know, a pirate or something. Like you know? pirate. Yeah. Thick glasses, leathery, withered legs. So he's an old, crazy guy dancing to get some change on the beach. And <laughs> this is what it comes to. You know, you're old, you retire, you go to Miami Beach, and you look at old, crazy people on the beach. And this is what they do for entertainment. I, th I think, how would you feel about spending your last days doing that, Daniel? I don't know why, why he said ole. Because it's a, because it's a war crazy. from Spain. He's Cuban. It's Cuban, ole. I yeah. know oh, the man. The man is Cuban, but yeah, the word is, is a sp a Spanish word. Yeah, but he's saying things for the tourists, you know, because they know. Uh, oh, people who speak Spanish say "ole," you know. Uh, All Spanish people uh, go to bullfights and uh, eat tapas or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> when you when something is well done, you say "ole." Uh, oh, but, a, a beautiful girl. <laughs> in the street, you say "ole." Really? After, what? Yes. What do What do the girls say when they say a "beautiful guy" in the street? Do they say "ole" too? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only men. <laughs> Maybe we. You should be careful about saying that. Yes. Uh, wait till they get something to say back. Um, so, Marina, you were able to get into class. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Fantastic. Why don't you take the next part, uh, which is kind of like here, maybe that and a little bit more. Okay, why not? Okay, then he tells her, her that something... Oh, sorry, pardon. Then he tells her that sometimes the beginnings of... Arteriosclerosis. Ah, arteriosclerosis can be detected and at age 25. It's something dangerous, yeah? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cuts of the blood supply to the brain. The uh, psychiatrists think they they are smart, but they can't do anything about the historical hi histological H system. The brain dries up like a scrap, like a scab. You know, when you scab. cut yourself, you get that mm -hmm. skin, the scab that covers uh, the. Yeah. So this guy's really a, a pleasant. Pleasant conversationalist, right? They're they're watching Crazy Louis, and he starts talking about disgusting medical issues. <laughs> he, this is Doctor Mayer talking to his wife, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. sounds like they have a good good relationship. Sorry, keep going. Okay, Mayer, you shouldn't use such language. You mean hi histology? I mean scab, Mayer. <laughs> what does he mean? What does she mean by that? I'm. I think she means that, uh, like, to describe this disease uh, in such details. I guess. <laughs> What's wrong with the word scab? Everyone says that. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. Cra crazy Louis is dancing in. 
suckling. Nope, cackling. Cackle, cackling. Um, what is it? Next. Kicking. Kicking sand. The old ladies in their bathing skirts found themselves content contentedly as he enters his Afro-Cuban apocalypse. 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 <laughs> Like in the Bible, the end of the world is the apocalypse. Yeah. So okay. he's describing Crazy Louie's little entertainment routine as an apocalypse. So I <laughs> guess that's good. I don't know. On the beach, there is a rural uh, village tolerance of madness. Louis doesn't do any harm. His children send him down. He's new since my last visit. And where are my old friends. So now we're going to get a little reminiscence of <laughs> some of the scenes that we've seen earlier. His old friends. Uh, okay, take one more for us, Marina, and then we'll go to Dom. Go ahead, Marina. Last one. Okay. The cockroach in the alley is. Okay. The cockroach here. Yeah? Cockroach. Cockroach. Cock. The cockroach is the alley is long gone, of course. It's a grandchildren. Oops. One second. I don't see. What's that? In, uh, yeah, already. Uh, into many generations. But I have found cheap sun again for my sin sinus. Sinus. And sinus. Sinus. And the white. Inside your nose or your sinus. Yeah, sinus when you can't breathe, yeah? Right. And white ocean breaking against the distractions of Manhattan in winter, spring, summer, fall. I think of a friend, a Jew Jewish chauvinist, arguing with his girl. When your people were still living in trees and hitting each other with sticks, <laughs> my people already had sinus trouble. <laughs> right. Because, <laughs> you know, the stereotypical New York Jew is always sick, right? When your people were living in trees, my people already had sinus problems. We're so <laughs> we're so evolved. Yeah. Go ahead, like, yes, sir. There you go. Well, let, Don, let's give Don a chance to read as well. Can you pick it up from Spinoza? Okay. Uh, this the Spinoza Forum is gone, replaced by a motel. Doctor Wolfson still goes to the beach every afternoon, but. The neighbor, neighborhood is changed. Uh, he has nothing to say to me except that uh, raw, raw beets, honey, and uh, tange, uh, tangerines keep tangerines. Uh, ah, tangerines keep a man virtuous and uh, healthy, uh, no matter what his age. The woman who knew Thomas Wolf. Did it? Did I forget to mention that last time? Uh, ah, uh, did I forget to mention that last time? And uh, swam as if uh, she wanted to die, and worked as a bee girl. Gone. She wanted. She wanted to reconstruct some cabin in the woods, a uh, dream of perfection, but she could never find the missing piece. Life is not a jigsaw puzzle. Once uh, uh, it has been uh, scrambled, uh, the whole picture is gone. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Existential. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the main phrases that come up in in my memory is jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> it's very puzzle. hard. Yes, because. <laughs> I think it's uh, related by the movie film, uh, so I, I think it's serious. The horror movies. <laughs> yes. Well, not not that not that not Saw. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, no. But this is the idea that you understood the big picture in life, but once the jigsaw puzzle is broken up, you lose the picture. Once it's scrambled and all the pieces are all over the place. Ah, they, okay, okay. So it's like saying that you lose your your idea about what life is like 
Once the uh -huh. pe what, whatever he means by the pieces are scrambled. I guess what he means is she had to give up on her dream and she never got it back. And he's trying yes. to make a statement, a kind of existential statement about about these dreams that we have. Okay. By the, by the way, I'm just I'm just wondering if we missed a page because we're we're talking about. Let me, just give me a second here. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing a page. <laughs> did we read the part in the other class? Did we read the part where Doctor Mayer and the the narrator are talking to each other? Maybe it's the next page. Okay, maybe I'm getting confused. Never mind. Sorry. Maybe I'm getting confused. Okay. So take us to the bottom of the page, Dom. These okay. are some people that we met before in the earlier scenes. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, there is, uh, I have to keep going to read? I don't know. You don't have to, but okay. I'd like you to. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I can do that. Okay. 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 The racing car driver with whom uh, I chatted a couple of times at breakfast gone. The column uh, of ants uh, and at the crocroach gone. Uh, the drummed up acquaintance Acquaint uh, acquaintances acquaintances even their names forgotten. <laughs> Uh, the, the hotel clerk uh, who wanted to explore in Guatemala. Perhaps he is exploring in Guatemala. The new manager of the, the hotel has never uh, even, sorry, heard of him. Heard of him. Uh, okay. Uh, and so, ah, and, uh, and the man who died, dead. Right. Who's the man who died, class? Remember him? Who is the man who died for Dom, who wasn't here? Who's the man who died? Daniel, Yuki, remember? No. Anybody? The, the Bromo man. Remember the member ah, the Bromo? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, in the end, he, he dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really died. Uh, did he de died? Yep. <laughs> so at this point, this is like probably some years later, and he's thinking back to all the people he saw before. Okay. So the the Bromo man was a guy who uh, his wife brought him into the breakfast place where the narrator was eating breakfast and was demanding Bromo, which is like a kind of aspirin, and okay. no one would help him. Uh, and then when the doctor came, he was perfectly okay, like there was no problem. And uh, it was kind of a weird thing. So it seemed like it was an act. It wasn't, but it seemed uh, like it was just an uh, act. I, I thought he is just acting. <laughs> he is no, disgusting. I think, he re I think it was real. Um, it was a really attack. It was an attack, a but, real attack. but he said his wife gets hysterical and the doctor was sent away. And then Dom, because uh, you weren't here, and Marina, you might not have been here in the first class, the narrator of the story gets angry at the cook, whose name is Frank. Um. He gets angry at the cook because the cook didn't do anything. He just ignored him, wouldn't give him the, the bromo that he asked for. So, uh. so anyway, that guy apparently is now actually dead. Yeah. <laughs> bromo okay. guy has I... died from heart, di heart attack? I guess, yeah. He seemed to be yeah. having some, some kind of problem. I... I just uh, I thought that he just uh, want, wanted to get a uh, promo, <laughs> bromo. <laughs> just uh, he's uh, disgusting, this guy, disguising. I I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, I, because bromo is just aspirin, so I don't know. Anyway, well Yuki, okay. let's go back to the beginning here. So Yuki, take the next one. Let's find out what happened to Frank. See where we are. Okay. I know this for certain, for I have f finally discovered an old friend, Frank, the gray bozo behind the counter at Wayland's is still there. I had taken up new eating habits and did not return to Wayland's during my first week in Miami Beach. But then I did, I did and found him. But then I did, and found did. him. Ah, but then I did, but then I did, and found him. 
still, still building hamburger platters and scrambling eggs. At first, he did not remember me. He never knew my name. When I remind him of the incident about the man who died and of our long breakfast friendship, <laughs> a look of irritation captured his face. Demands were being made on him. But then his cross mark creased. Uh, but then his cross mark cross, cross mark creased into a smile. He did remember me. He only needed to be reminded. A mug is what, Yuki? What's a mug? Do you know? Um, a mug a with a cup? Yeah, no. Nope. Ah, he... Uh, when... when uh, a mug when, is a cup in another context, but here, a mug is your face. Ah. It's your face. We call it a mug because we have in the police station a mug shot. A mug shot is a shot of the face of a of a prisoner, of an arrested person. So it's kind of a, like a joke. And but then his cross mug, his angry face, his cross mug creased into a smile. His angry face folded into a smile. So you can picture this old guy with lots of lines in his face, lots of wrinkles creasing like an old book, you know, or uh, folding a newspaper into a smile. So, mug his face here. I see. There you go. Okay. You know that old fool, he said, Leda really did die. He, he did dead. Leda died. There was a new cat in the store, a new special on tooth br toothbrushes. A new pharmacist, pharmacist. I had a hamburger on our old friend, friendship, and and Frank put the extra slice of tomato on on the side of to prove that he remembered me. But why should he? He had been an ex experience for me, the same now, with bolder eyebrows. But what was I, I to him? For me, he excite, existed as, a, as an example of something, a moment, a moment of frightening histor history, a troubled memory which I had set down in words. I had needed a friend then, but he did not. I was frightened by death then, and worse, by a way of re receiving death. But he was not, uh, and perhaps never admit that he might be. So, why is there a friendship? It's not a real friendship, but why is there a quote friendship unequal, according to the narrator? Uh, in that moment, uh, when a protagonist of the story uh, get accounted with. Uh, they get acquainted with the Frank. Uh, he really wanted to make a friend, uh, but Frank, for Frank, it is maybe well. He's uh, one of the customers, and also a uh, 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 narrator get angry uh, towards uh, Frank's behavior uh, to uh, uh, regarding. Uh, Mm, pro pro promo guides pro <laughs> promo man promo so, man so there are uh, maybe there there is a gap between them uh, from beginning until yeah. now maybe the, the narrator needed Frank because the narrator is thinking existential thoughts and in that moment he got scared that's probably why he got angry at Frank more than anything. But Frank is oblivious to everything. All he does is <laughs> flip hamburgers, right? Wow. And it's not that he's a bad person or left or, 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 or less of a person, but his way of making a connection with people is to give them extra tomato. <laughs> you know, now that's, that's his extra... It's a symbol of a friendship, maybe. It is. For him, that's a big deal. 
So there's kind of something kind of unequal, and it kind of seems like he's questioning that. Well, for me, Frank is someone that I needed in the moment, and besides that, he's just part of the scenery. I'm just writing a book. He's part of the scenery. Mm -hmm. well, why should he care about me? Why should he remember me? Mm -hmm. But in a way, Frank is even a better person than he is because he does remember, and he makes a gesture of friendship toward him. Mm -hmm. So now their relationship maybe become close. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> In a way. <laughs> At least as far as tomatoes are concerned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, Daniel, we're back to you for the next paragraph or two. Why does he stay in Miami Beach? Yes, for a job. Yes, for the sun. But why there? All right. Then why not there? Why do I go back? Why did I go back? What happened to those dead and dying ones? They died and were dead. They yeah, were that, that's the answer to his question. <laughs> what happened to those dead and dying ones? They died and they were dead. <laughs> Pretty simple. They were swept away. I thought the first time I went to Miami Beach that I had made a free cho choice to be isolated. Isolated. I isolated. Isolated. Good. But I discovered that everyone comes to the state of isolation in time, though not freely. What I did out of apparent health and doubt. Youth. In the, youth. In the pleasure of work, those others did in sickness and age. In the age. Anxiety. Anxiety, anxiety of boredom, but eventually work is done, health turns to decay, youth, youth, youth. turns, youth. Youth, youth turns to ripeness, turns to age, feebleness and dying must precede death, except for fighters pilots, who are anacro, who are anacro, anachronists. Anachronisms. Anachronisms. You know, something that's like a throwback to the past. Anachronisms. Right? Because chronos means time. An means opposite. So like opposite of the current time. A throwback to the past. Fighter pilots who are anachronisms. Something out of the past. Because I guess they don't die of natural causes. They die young and in an exciting way. So they're different. Right, because for everyone else, isn't it? For everyone else, whoops, I lost my place here. For everyone else, feebleness and dying must precede death, except for fighter pilots. <laughs> fighter pilots just die. They don't get feeble before they die. So they're anachronisms. Like, like, like uh, you know, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. You die for a cause. So I guess that's what he means. But for the rest of us, we just that state of isolation that he was looking for happens to everyone anyway. He was doing it in his youth, but it happens to everyone. They become isolated, feeble. So he's having some existential thoughts. Sorry, Daniel, didn't mean to interrupt. Keep going. Miami Beach is an extension adult education course in how to die. Pursued with great serious seriousness by the enrollees, the old folks work at it with deliberate and modest intensity in group sessions, complimenting each other on their turns, their sports shirts, their postgraduate skill at finding a proper weather, the young vacationers' flus in a package tours immerse themselves in the ceremonial indulgences of resort hotels, eat, swim, and enjoy their honeymoon wrestling, take in Eartha, Kit, or Leo the Lion, sigh with boredom and exes, buy bottles of Mantan at their air terminal, arrive with fresh sun on your cheeks, and flee back to real life with a secret conviction and flip back to real life with a secret conviction that this is leisure, 
a stickly for the bear's brother. That's an old expression. For the birds. It means not worth anything. Strictly for the birds. Strictly for the birds. Strictly for the birds. Uh, let's finish up. We're almost done. Last paragraph. Marina, I think you're going to finish it for us. Okay. Uh, last one. I'm not... Uh, oi. This one? The one's in blue. Okay. Uh, that first time in Miami Beach, I was a curious observer. I observerly moved with the face of men wait, wait. who... Obscurely. Yeah? Obscurely. Oh, sorry. Obscurely moved with the face of men who uh, fearfully... Unwinds a rope uh, as unwinds. Unwinds without winds. What uh, is it unwinds? For example, un if you wind a rope, it, you can put it in a ball. If you unwind it, you stretch it out. Ah, okay, okay. Unwind a rope as he visits his dream of the t turtle. What is it? Try it. <laughs> slaughterhouse. Yeah, slaughterhouse. Abattoir, the place where they kill animals, is a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. The second time, the last time, two years, uh, change had begun to discover my implication to me. I broke the rope. The model of death is real. The dream of dying is real. Uh, the the taunt reduced heli heliotropic. heliotropic Dr. Meyer recognized me despite his wise blindness ha 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 I look who is there oh, no, 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 that's her name Hannah that's, that's his wife's name <laughs> okay. not ha 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 but Hannah Hannah look who is here and when I spoke to her she um, gropingly embraced right. me this was why I went back to to feel Mrs. Myers' arms hotly convulsed about my neck as if I were still a boy in Cleveland. And <laughs> to know that I was not a young man from Cleveland visiting Miami Beach as he had toured carnivals the war, the Caribbean, Europe, and taking the boat ride around Manhattan. Boat ride, okay. Mm -hmm. I was a winner, oh sorry, I was a winter visitor, tried to, tired, tired, of, tired. tired of town, come for the son who had been there before. So he's, he's identifying himself yes. and He's not that little boy from Cleveland anymore. Well, we've got one sentence left, Dom. What do you think? Last sentence. Okay. Uh, I'm, am I now satisfied uh, with what I found, which is uh, later really did die, later, di later died, just, uh, uh, as in, uh, uh, just as in the Halle two years ago uh, in that sweep, swept space uh, where there was no longer any roach and no column of hands. History enters upon uh, new epochs uh, which being to grow familiar to me. Okay. And that is the story yeah. of death in Miami Beach. Okay. And look at this. Look what I have for you here. On this document, I have some discussion questions. First of all, Dom, mm. do you know what he's referring to about those two lines where it says, later really did die, later died, and also about the alley two years ago? Is that clear? Because you weren't in the first class. Do you know what he's referring to there? Mm, I don't have... Ever, mm, um, I, mm, I don't have any my idea more clear about that. So, uh, let's ask the class. Later yes. really did die. Who said that? Class. Uh, I think we, 
it is the it is said by the doctor, no? No. No. Ah, <laughs> so, uh, uh, doctor's wife. No, no, it's Frank. Frank says yeah. it. Ah. <laughs> Remember, because he discovers that's how he discovers that the Bromo man dies, because Frank recognizes him and says, "Hey, later, really did die. Later died." And that's ah, yes, 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 yes. Right? Th yes. That that's the eulogy he gives for the promo man. Later died, <laughs> as if his life is about that sentence. You know, all the things he went through in sixty years, and it's later died, and that's it. That's that's the memory of the promo man. And and what happened after, in the alley after the man's recovery from heart? After injury. he recovered, yes, yeah. yes, yes, he said. And what happened in the alley two years ago? Two years ago, uh, it is the first visit to Miami, no? That's right. Yes, yes. Because it says there's no I longer see. any roach and any column of ants. So what's he referring to there? There, th then he, uh, pro protagonist of this story, visited the slaughterhouse, no? No, no, after the no. slaughterhouse. After the slaughterhouse, he, he stepped on the bags with his uh, ski, uh, tennis shoes. After that, he uh, he encountered the the man. Uh, no, oh, no, no, no. Right, but let's go back to the bug. He steps on the bug and he goes back three times. The first time yes, he yes. he steps on it, but when he comes back later, the uh, bug is what bug with uh, how to say, ants. Uh, 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 Column of ants uh, uh, um, bring out his uh, corpus. <laughs> right, they're, corpus. They're, they're, they're taking it, pieces uh, away. It beca became uh, disappeared. Yeah. Right, and by the third time, he goes Only back to the alley. It's gone. There's no trace of anything. All the ants no are gone. There is no trace at all. What do you think is the? By the way, we only have a minute here, so we have to be a little quick, but. We can have a discussion in a in a separate class, maybe even later today. But for now, just to finish class, um, what is the existential statement he's making in that last sentence? Later, really did die. Later died, and the reference to the ants. History enters upon new epochs. Well, let's do this. I've got to start the next class, so maybe I can schedule a discussion class because we I I, I really can't have. Uh, the class go over time or I will be in trouble. <laughs> but okay. let me do this. Let me find a time. I'll send you a message and you tell me if you're available at that time. Okay? And then we can uh, have our discussion of the class. Well, let's do it like that. Okay? okay. okay. So I'll, I'll send you a message in the Verbling message system when I can find uh, an hour and then you tell me if that's good and if it is, I'll schedule it. If not, we'll find another hour. Okay? okay. That's the plan. I think there are many things we can discuss about I think this so story. <laughs> it's very mysterious. And I think so too. We can be school for a day. <laughs> we can. In, in the meantime, you should look at the questions I, I put under discussion. Those were the questions that came to me when I read it. Okay, so you yes. might want to think about those to get you started. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute for the business class, and I'll inform you as soon as possible about the discussion for this class, Death of Miami Beach. Bye for Bye. now, everyone. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye. 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 B